Hello and uh, welcome back to Econai Studios. Uh, so this is where we left off uh, last video. We uh, created uh, the ground and we uh, copy some tree around. So in this video, um, I think I'm gonna do um, a little pull uh, in this area. So first of all, let me turn on the shortcut uh, again. So you'll be able to see the shortcut I'm using. So can see the shortcut in the right uh, bottom corner and I'm gonna uh, remove this so just to have a better view what we are doing okay and uh, our feed cursor is just around here so I'm just gonna move uh, the feed cursor to somewhere around here and we're gonna build uh, our pool in uh, this area so what I'm gonna do uh, hold down shift and then right click and your cursor is gonna move to this area or you can use this tool just to remind you and you can do this as well so select this one and move it to wherever you want okay uh, shift a and i'm gonna add a uh, cube and i'm gonna move it up to the uh, ground level first so i'm gonna go into edit mode and then g z and move it up like this just so it's on the ground and then get out of edit mode by pressing tab and then S for scaling it down like this I don't want to be uh, a really big one just a small pool uh, somewhere around here so let's start with uh, this cube uh, press tab to go into edit mode and press V to go selecting faces so I'm gonna select this face and press G and X to move a little bit like this I think we're gonna have a better view from top so you can go to top view by just uh, selecting this Z so we are uh, looking down to our scene so what I'm gonna do uh, hold down uh, control and right click anywhere you want to add another to extrude uh, uh, face so I'm just gonna go around like this so I'm just holding down control and just uh, with the mouse right click just press like this just last one like this here yeah. came back to our uh, perspective view and I'm gonna uh, sorry gonna select these two faces and then right click and bridge faces like this so we have uh, we close that gap as well and then I'm going to uh, press one to get into into vertice mode uh, and then turn on uh, x-ray so we'll be able to see and be able to select the vertices at the back as well so press G and move around and create the shape you want your uh, pole to be so so I'm just moving around uh, to create a um, little bit of interesting shape I don't want to be a really big one, just a small one. Let me get out of X ray so we'll be able to see it better like this. And then I'm gonna create this just to make it look like um, uh, because these are uh, like a stone, I just want to create um, like uh, they are stone uh, around all the. Um, a pull so what I'm gonna do um, go into face mode select this one and uh, extrude out uh, E for extrude and then S for scaling it down like this and this one E extrude S scale it down 
this as well to e extrude s scale it down like this e extrude s scale it down so I'm just gonna try to create a shape uh, I want uh, by making it uh, look like uh, this is all just you know like uh, one uh, big stone around uh, the pool so e and then S to scale it down this one to E extrude S scale it down I'm gonna move this side a little bit down so just uh, G, Z and move it down like this and this one as well so G, Z move it down and I don't want this to be so I'm going to edge mode select this one G, Z just move it up a little bit like this going to face mode select this one as well uh, inside and then E and then S going to uh, edge mode and then control B to bevel some of these uh, uh, edge as well so I'm just selecting the edge and then control B and just beveling out select this one control B this one control B select this one control B so just making it rough like um, it is uh, stone so uh, wrong key uh, control B then bevel out this one control B bevel out and I'm gonna select this face as well and extrude out as well E for extrude and then S to scale it down like this and then going to H again and then control B to bevel out some of these sorry again from key control B bevel out you can uh, carry on do this even without uh, watching what I'm doing because you just create a shape you are happy with and then carry on from there I'm just selecting uh, edge on uh, control B for bevel them out uh, this one if you want to cut all the way like this you just uh, press K and then just cut like this and then press enter and that should be done so I'm going to very smooth and move some uh, vertices around as well just to make it a little bit rough and this square I don't you know, because the stone uh, it's not like this really square shapes so I'm just pressing G and moving uh, vertices around just to make it a little bit different I think that's that's okay for now. I don't want to spend more time uh, doing this. Uh, you can add more detail if you want, but for now, uh, let me try different way, maybe making it uh, better. But I think it's look uh, okay. So I'm gonna move it uh, this way a little bit. Uh, I don't want to be on the way. Uh, so press G 
Y to move it this way. Yeah, I think it's uh, in the right place now. Just don't want to be exactly the same, so I'm going to edge mode. Select this edge, G, Z. So let's try out another loop all the way around like this. So, control uh, R, and then uh, while it's still selected, I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit. So, press S and scale it out like this. And then I'm gonna select the uh, bottom loop by uh, hold down um, Alt and select. So it's gonna select all the way around. Selecting the outside and then scale them out like this. I'm just uh, going to very smooth and uh, make a little bit more move to these uh, vertices make it a little bit rough I think that should be okay for now yep I'm happy with this one and then we're gonna put a plane or something like that for uh, our water uh, inside so on this area uh, have to be a little bit lower than the normal because of uh, the water so I think I'm gonna move this part a little bit down so I'm gonna select the ground and then go into edit mode and select these vertices and then just move them down so press G Z and move them down like this and these two as well G Z G Z G Z so this is gonna be which okay for our little pool here and that should be fine so let me add a plane just to put in here for the right now um, as water but we're gonna look at that one later so shift A and then Plane and then S scale it out and G X G Y. So we just want to cover the area, um, and this is going to be for the water. And we definitely want to subdivide this as well. So I'm just going to add a subdivider. and then make it three or let me turn on the uh, edge so you'll be able to see with uh, a wireframe, frame uh, but you have to apply so to be able to see uh, let me scale it up a little bit to cover the area we want and then if we going back to this modifier and then apply I think we may be need uh, one more so can I add another one subdivider and then one should be okay and then yeah I think this should be okay for now next I think I'm gonna create some stone and put them around the area so I think I'm gonna uh, stop here and do that uh, in the uh, next uh, video because I don't want uh, each video to be really long so I will see you in the next video when we create some stone and put them around maybe around the, the pool as well and uh, we will see from there so see you in the next uh, video